industrial waste, carbon dioxide, environmental hazards. Have you ever thought of the intimidating alarm they have been delivering to our planet? Have it ever crossed your mind to bring them in a single thread and solving while there is still some time left? What if we say we can? Recycled geopolymer concrete can be our answer to all of the problems we are talking about. Let's see why and how. With the emerging threat of carbon dioxide emission from concrete usage and cement production, our industries have been excessively producing wastes like fly ash, slags, demolition waste that go over untreated and barely reused, resulting in future hazard and disasters. On the other hand, natural disasters like riverbank erosion have reached critical stages worldwide requiring a viable and sustainable long-term solution. Sandbags being sensitive, hard to dispose of, barely durable, are no longer a sustainable solution amidst the increasing scarcity of sand. Traditional concrete blocks, being considered a better alternative, contain cement as a binder which is responsible for 8% of total human-made emission of carbon dioxide worldwide. And with growing urbanization, cement production will increase about 6.1 billion metric tons in 2050, and the effects of not limiting it can be catastrophic. Whereas, riverbank erosion situation seems nowhere near stopping. Every year, almost 1 million people are affected and up to 1200,000 displaced on the transboundary river basin of the Indian subcontinent. Environmental and socio-economic impacts along with the loss of fertile lands are observed in different countries at different scales due to riverbank erosion. Hence, searching for a solution that solves problems in multiple dimensions is now a crying need. Now, simply you may ask, how does Recycled GPC combine the problems and bring out a viable solution? Geopolymers offer the construction industry a sustainable solution to a wide range of waste materials that can be recycled into construction materials via the alkali activation process. In this process, silica and alumina obtained from industrial byproducts act as binding materials where a polymerization reaction takes place. RGPC blocks offer sufficient strength to protect the river bank as study reveals the requirement on the strength of the blocks not to be very high. Scientific research shows that without affecting the mechanical and durability properties, the quartz and the fine aggregates can partially or fully replaced by waste materials such as construction and demolition waste, recycled glass, ceramic waste, mine waste, and so many more. RGPC provides us with manifold advantages, like utilization of industrial waste like fly ash, GGPS, mine waste, etc. It gives us with a reduced amount of carbon dioxide emission. Also, it provides better abrasion resistance than OPC concrete block. It has excellent properties within both acidic and salty environment. Lastly, more economical than OPC concrete blocks to protect riverbank erosion. The idea introduced has a large impact in the field of the problem by having a direct or indirect effect on the processes to achieve SDGs. Like using RGPC will provide a resilient infrastructure resulting in a permanent solution, utilize huge amounts of industrial byproducts, construction and demolition wastes, and finally help us reducing carbon dioxide. Last but not the least, by stabilizing the river banks, it indirectly saves residential and fertile lands, resulting in escape from poverty. The three R's known as reduce, reuse, and recycle, which help to cut down the amount of waste we throw away, can be amazingly aligned with this idea. To be more precise, 
recycled geopolymer country not only solves the reverberant erosion problem, but also provides a sustainable solution to the industrial byproducts and waste. It also reduces the exploitation of natural stone, the use of cement, and the emission of air pollutants, which has obvious environmental and economic benefits. So, in hope of making this world a better place, let's use RGPC to protect our riverbanks.